Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. We are gym badge owners. Yeah, we are. Boom. We totally defeated Viola and her camera, I guess, in the last episode. Look, I like it. I think it's cool how they have the... Uh, her gym is decorated with photos she supposedly took. Kind of blurry photos. You'd think for someone so into it, they'd be a little clearer, but whatever. <laughs> would you look at that bug badge? Would you? Like how they spelled would you? That's very nice. But that schmancy pants professor gave me a photo. This, what is was this guy? Is he being like sarcastic, but fancy schmanz professor. After you hear your Pokemon up at the Pokemon Center, why don't you? Why don't you head over to the lab in Lumio City and show it to me? Eh? Yeah, that's my plan. All right, which also means I think we're gonna get a second starter Pokemon today. What? Okay, that's pretty exciting. Actually, that was the question I was gonna ask you guys in the last episode. Maybe I should have because now the day is upon us. Which starter should we get? Uh, well, if you don't get that far today, let me know. If we do, maybe I already chose one. I don't know. I know who I want. Um, yeah, let's see, let's heal up before we go anywhere. Heal, heal, heal. I feel like it's possible we might have a rival battle. It feels like that time of, that time of day, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Kind of does. Like, not Shauna, but uh, Serena. Also, I'm sorry, uh, well, let's see. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, not Shauna, but uh, Serena. Let's see. Also, I think if we head right over here, that's the girl who's gonna give us the EXP share. Ooh, is there something up here? Can you go in one of these? I feel like there's like a TM you can get somewhere. Oh, stop sitting in chairs, dude. Come on, come on. Let's see, what do we got? Do, 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 do. Hi, Pokemon that go, yep. Oh, oh. Can you get a poke? can you get a trade here? Bundle B for your far fetched. Nope, don't have bundle B. Don't want far fetched. Never mind. It's okay. Okay. So, what are we going to do about the EXP share? All right. Lots of varying opinions on this matter, but executive decision. We're just going to keep it off um, for the most part. Here's what my thought is like, ultimately, is it going to make recording? faster to have it on yes is it truer to the nuzlocke spirit to have it off indeed it is also whilst the other the old exp share still only gave you 100 percent of the experience this gives you closer to like 300 percent of the experience per fight uh so it really does boost it and even and like so the problem is that pokemon in the lineup start gaining levels that they didn't necessarily earn and it could be many pokemon i don't have a huge problem with that um but the issue is of course that uh a lot of th that might mean that we can really lean on like our favorite pokemon for a long time or our strongest pokemon and just switch out when needed to a uh, different Pokemon who haven't really done much battling. And we want to make sure that everyone on the team is battle hardened because we're trying to become champion here, right? This is the, the way they level up in between big grinding sessions is really uh, often indicative of like who's pulling the most weight and stuff like that. So during grinding sessions, I'm 100% going to turn it on because it'll just go way faster, um, especially since <laughs> I'm playing on a real 3DS and don't have a lovely turbo button on the emulator anymore, which uh, may maybe is nice for you guys. <laughs> I did occasionally skip through some important battle scenes, but here we go. Hey, oh, hey. Oh, you, you, you are, aren't you? You're one of the kids who got a Pokemon from August and Sycamore. Would you look at that? You got a bug badge. Looks like I might have a new scoop. Yeah. Uh, no, you didn't. Yep. Yeah, uh, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, her younger sister. Hey! Oh, the EXP share! Woo! Key items pocket. Do, 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 do. It helps with your training. So, the thing is, the game is designed for you to play it with it on. So this is going to make it significantly harder to have it off. Let's just go ahead and do it. Bag. Do, 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 do. Key items. EXP share. Off. 
the XP share was turned off. That's right, it was. We don't need that. Anyway, let's take a quick look at the team before we continue down this route and catch a new member for it. What? We have got Chloeo the Lit Leo. <laughs> so lit, so lit right now. Chloeo, she's lit. <laughs> oh, oh, I like that. We're going to be saying that a lot. Our Fireline Hero of the Last Gym. Oh, she's wonderfully strong. We have Tom John the Fletchling Axe, our Mighty Froki, and Toth the Pidgey. Oh, man. So, last episode. I mentioned how uh, Tarth immediately uh, formed a bit of a rivalry with Tom John. Boy, that's still going strong. Let me tell you, Tarth, very, as ever, the very proud Pidgey. Um, what has changed is that, like, early on, the first Pokemon that Tarth uh, really only had a chance to impress was Axe. And uh, the addition of a new fire type who was also a female and who was also, uh, in Tarth's opinion, better than Tom John. Uh, immediately caused her to like re I guess maybe it wasn't clear who the strongest was and Chloeo's immediate appearance has such strength that I don't I wouldn't call Chloeo the strongest I'm still going with my boy Axe over here what uh, but I mean despite level differences uh, so uh, T Tarth definitely sitting on the shoulder of the mighty lion here um, not that, that means Tarth has anything against axe it's really all about the fact I think that we're gonna have these two fire types here and Tarth wants to be the only bird on the team that's sort of where we're at uh, axe totally cool he's very like whatever wins the battle whatever causes the most peace uh chloe doesn't really i don't i haven't noticed any particular like inclination uh, i mean she enjoys tarth i mean who doesn't like being liked right but um I don't, I don't see any sort of budding rivalry as of yet between Chloeo and Axe or Tom John. Uh, not that, I mean, Tom John has much stake to the claim to the throne if you, if you, uh, if you dare. Anyway, let's, speaking of which, we are going to go ahead and we're going to switch Axe out to the front. Get you out there. Yeah. There we go. Very fun. And uh, we're going to, we're going to go, oh, we're on route four. Parterre way and we can catch a new Pokemon on this route and I think we have some lovely uh, Battles we can fight. So let's see what we're gonna catch. What are we gonna catch? So Best case scenario on this route we catch Ralts. That's that's the real winner. That'll give us a super psychic type a fairy type to boot a mega evolution uh, in Gardevoir that is what we are 100% hoping for. Uh, most likely case scenario, we catch a Flabebe, which I'm going to be super annoyed with, but at least we'll have a fairy type. Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. What's it going to be? Oh, please be Ralts. Please be Ralts. It's not going to be. It's not going to be. It's Lediba. Okay, well, I did mention last episode that I kind of like Ledian. I don't think... Um, Lediba super duper strong or anything let's see i'm almost afraid i'm gonna knock it out uh lick let's just try and do some very tiny damage okay that's all we need who's gonna be the lady yeah 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 all right bag pokeball pokeball go uh-huh yes no oh, what seriously how dare you lady Lady, 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 How many people in history do you think have named their Lady Buzz Francis after the character in A Bug's Life? Especially if they're male Lady Buzz. I think a lot, huh? No, come on, what is this nonsense? Well, see, he's right there at 50 too, so I don't really want to hit him with something else. Uh, I'm positive we can catch him. As stands. We're gonna talk about a level six Ledyba here. Maybe we have a really feisty Ledyba. Maybe this is a good thing. Dose. Yes. Dink. We got it. We got it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ledyba. Welcome to the team, friend. Welcome to the team. I suppose. For now. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna lie. Your odds don't seem amazing at staying on the team, but we never know. We never know. I mean, we finished the Elite Four with a Dust Docks one time, so these things happen. These things happen. But no worries. 
No worries at all. We are going to give you a lovely name. Mats. There you go. Welcome, Mats, the Ladybug, to the team. Officially on the team. Wonderful, because we don't have any other options as of yet. We're going to go ahead and heal Mats real quick. Come on, Mats. Come on, Mats. Do, 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 do. May as well give him a... Give him a fight or two to level up with, too. Do, do, do. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Yeah, just in case. I mean, I don't think we're super going to have to lean on mats for anything anytime soon. Oh, we could probably uh, give it infestation, right? He's got to be able to learn that. Right? You think? Hopefully. Let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Infestation. Yeah, Hughes. Boom. Boot up a TM. Yes. Mats learned infestation! Wonderful! The target is infested and attacked for four to five turns. Let's take a quick look at our new Pokemon as well. Just to get a... I mean, if they're on the team, we should know something about them. Zzz, infestation! Uh, special attacker. So I guess... Is that is infestation a special attack? It is! Oh, 20 power. Look at that. So strong. Mm-hmm. Oh, serious and mischievous? I don't know about that. It's a little bit weird. All right, we're moving on. Uh, we may as well. Let's throw uh, mats to the front here. See, this is a, a very quick example of how the EXP share would be nice because then we could just let uh, mats sit in the back and it would um, sort of grow as we fought our way through this route. But alas, we cannot do that. We cannot do that. We must earn the title. Oh, it's a Badoo! Oh, man. Oh, man. We could have had a Badoo. We could have had a Badoo. Don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Go, Tarth. Teach this Badoo a lesson. It's okay. You know what? D despite the fact that we had a, a Roserade lead our team to insane victory once upon a time, our mighty Hamilton, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm sure Mats will be as effective as any Rosa Raid ever was, right? Obviously. Obviously. It's gonna be great. Water Spore? You already did that, Boodoo. Here we go. Gust, you're dead. Well done, Tarth. Well done. We did it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, Mats, you didn't even get a level off that, bro. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Do 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 do. Great ball! Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. I want to fight somebody. We need a fight. It's what we need. Do 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 That's what. Oh wait, was there a Pokeball down here? Is that what I was going for? Da, 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 da. I think it is. Yes, it is. Wonderful, wonderful. So we might be getting another starter Pokemon. This go bout, um, in the form of one of the Kanto starters. So. Man, I, hmm, there is questions about what to get, isn't there? So on the one hand, we already have a water type, so it doesn't seem like we should get a Squirtle. Um, and honestly, my kind of thought is that I would want the Bulbasaur because uh, I've actually done a playthrough with Squirtle, obviously, the mighty Donatello, the greatest Pokemon that ever lived, one of them anyway. And uh, then we also did... Um, a monotype fire run, which I did not complete. Sorry about that, uh, Luke. <laughs> I was playing along with Luke. I was, that was when he was like a very newborn baby. And he eventually just stopped being okay with sitting here. So I couldn't really, I don't know. I, did. <laughs> I never finished it. Sorry, it was like a live stream thing. But I picked Charmander on that particular playthrough. So I've had two playthroughs with um, the other two starters. Uh, uh, not to mention Bulbasaur would uh, round the team out nicely as we already have a water and fire type on the team. Uh, we're gonna switch Pokemon to, let's go to Axe here. Bring it on, Fletchling, level 10 Fletchling. Mm -hmm. Man, I, I, I might be being stupid just training <laughs> Mats at all. Trying to be, trying to be a, you know, equal opportunity here, but as it were. Bling, here we go. Yeah, Fletchling. That does nothing. You're going down. Feel the bubbles. Bubbles. Oh, quick attack. Sneaky, sneaky Fletchling. But also bubbles. Do, 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 do. Pop. Yeah, yeah. You're dead. 
Feel the pain. Boom, level 14. What? It's a mighty axe. Water pulse. What? Yeah. Sorry. I know we've been giving bubbles a lot of... Um, love suit. Let's just make sure. Power 40, accuracy 100. Special attack. Power 60, accuracy. Yeah, we're definitely getting rid of bubble because we don't need two water attacks. I do essentially the exact same thing. Except this one could confuse people. Yay. Awesome. Go. Water pulse. Math screw to level 7. What? Math screw to level 8? No, he didn't. That'd be amazing. But didn't. Yeah, sorry, your lone tiny bird was uh, not very good. Not very good at all. Hey, you. You want to fight too? I battle just like I skate. Non-stop victory is the only way for me. Well, as far as I can tell, you're not even skating the same direction as the other girl. So are you even racing? Who are you racing? Are you racing? What are you doing? You guys playing some sort of weird roller derby? I can't tell. We're definitely not going to fight this Pidgey with mats. Uh, let's see. We're going to go to uh, Chloeo, I think. Why not? Why not? Spread the love. Spread the love. Get out there, Chloeo. Burn this Pidgey alive. That was a little intense. No reason to be so intense. All right. There we go. Boom! The fire burns! Sand attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We shall see how this affects uh, Chloe if she is uh, the kind of person, the kind of poke who gets flustered easily by sand attack. So far, I think that's the second one she's uh, not lost the accuracy for. Ah, oh, Masco to level A! Yay! Roller skater roll it! Yeah, alright, cool, awesome! Yeah, good, 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 good. There we go. Good job, uh, good job, Mats, I guess. Way to, way to be out there and see a Pidgey. Way to be. Oh, can we get around this? Is there stuff to be picked up in the back? Ah! What do we got here? What do we got here? Hey, Ladiba! You'd think ours is stronger, right? Ah! You'd think. But alas. Go, Tarth. Yay. Take this thing down. It will not survive. Oh, Tarth might get a level, though. That'd be nice. Level 13, Pidgey. Here we go. Ghost. Yeah, so, um, Bulbasaur. Pretty. That's, that's my that's my personal pick for uh, which starter. That being said, Bulbasaur, also my favorite starter from Sakanto region. So it would be nice to actually finally have one. I feel like I've earned it, you know, this far in. Ada for not playing with the EXP share, my goodness. Tarth became confused. You can do this, Tarth. Don't be so confused. Actually, Tarth is confused, though, isn't she? Oh! Or is she? Bam. Let me know when you... I guess not everyone's first game, I guess, was ever um, in Kanto. But if it was, who was your first Pokemon? Bulbasaur was my first Pokemon. At, like, ever. When I was, like, six on Pokemon Blue version. It's insane. Okay, can we get around that way? No, we can't. Okay, I know what I was even trying to do there. Do do do. Oh, this route goes on. There's lots of trainers. This is good. This is good. Uh, I'm gonna potion real quick because we have taken some damage, and I don't like that, um, especially on you. There we go. There you go, Axe. We could probably get. I bet we could level up Axe. Could we get Axe to evolve on this route? That would be. Truly fantastic. That's my new goal. Evolve Axe. We're aiming for level 16 for that. Hey, little girl, help me evolve this frog. Hey, hey, I, 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 listen, I'm gonna win this battle. I, I really don't think you are. Oh, you got the cute little, what is it? I can't even remember the name. The, what's the rabbit? Gosh, I should know. It's totally exited my brain. It's totally exited my brain. Um, gosh, I have like I have like a perfectly IV trained one and everything somewhere. I spent a lot of time on it. Uh, we're not gonna fight you with our water type, that's for sure. Let's go, Chloe. Yo, switch it in there. Boom. Do we have a good answer for electricity so far? Really, I guess we could just send out uh, Chloe yo, to be the uh, be more of a neutral fight is the answer right now. That's what we would have to do. But that's good. It's good that we have some answer. Boom. 
Let the fire burn. There it is. Yeah. Sorry, Badu. Sorry, little preschool girl. You defeated the preschool of Mia. Yay. You're dead. This is why I became a Pokemon trainer. For those kinds of fights right there. To let little preschool put little preschoolers in their place. <laughs> check it, check out. I just traded for Kuru Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got Charizard backpack. That's pretty cool. A Magikarp, dude, you got uh, screwed on this trade, I think. Whatever you traded. Not so good. I mean, level 9. Not the worst Magikarp in the world. But, uh, quick attack? Kabam! Mm, mm-hmm. Yes, way to splash. Way to splash. Man, I remember the first time I ever had a Magikarp. Not quite knowing... It's uh, it's big secret, so to speak, and it had splashed. I threw it out in battle, and it was just like, oh, it doesn't do anything. And then I was convinced that if you could do it while you're in the water, it would do something, but it doesn't. And uh, yeah, I, I remember that was a really fun playthrough though when I uh, first had the magic card because uh, I had friends who sort of fell for the. Uh, fell for it right like uh this pokemon is terrible but i was like i had a feel i don't know why in particular i had this feeling Ooh, a poison barb that's nice that's nice another reason to bring bulbasaur that if i could get it to level 20 something would happen like its evolution would be like really cool and boy was i right about that uh i don't even know why i felt like 20 was the level it just seemed it seemed right and i did it and i had an amazing gear nurse but whatever Neither here nor there. A Burmy boy, one of my least favorite Pokemon ever. I remember, I think Dorkly once upon a time put out some uh, like quiz where you could sit there and I think it was just essentially a giant bracket for determining your favorite like different generation Pokemon. Burmy, I think, was my least favorite Pokemon of whatever generation it came out of because I was like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Water Pulse, go! Stand by it. It's a dumb Pokemon. It was something we could have caught on this route. Oh my gosh, that would have been the worst. Another Burmy. All right, bring it. Come on. Oh, look. It's shaped differently. This one looks like it's got a rock stomach. You think you're special, Burmy? You're dead is what you are. You're dead. Oh, yeah. Ah, so close. We have another one. And it's even more different. Even more different berms, even more different dead. Another day, another water pulse. Swing the axe, ba boom. I like to imagine axe is holding a really giant axe. Like it's way too big for him to hold. That's what I imagine. But he's got really good aim too. Just smashing stuff with his axe and stuff. Excuse me. Anything anything else that missed? No. All right, we're going to keep moving. We only need one more level for the Mighty Axe, and then we shall have our Frogadier. Yes. Yes, the days of Froki are already almost behind us. Can you imagine such quickness? This guy has a core fish, which I want to say is weirdly strong. We're going to come back to him. Well, are we? Are we running away from a fight? Never. Would we? I don't think so. Um, uh, let's see, but who's gonna fight the core? I mean, obviously Axe should fight the core fish as it's water on water. We can't rely on Chloeo though. That's the tricky part. Not that, I mean, not tricky. This should be too hard. Gardener Grover, cool fish, get it? Cause he's a gardener and he's like chopping. This is how I imagine it works. Like, tup, 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 tup. Snipping them hedges. Yeah, whatever you, whatever dude. Uh, quick attack. Go, bam! Vice grip. Well, that seems strong. And indeed, pretty strong. Well, not pretty strong. Took like eight damage. Here you go, though. Quick attack. We're gonna take this thing down. Oh, mud sport. Good move. Now, I didn't think you were gonna win. Now you probably will. Now that you got some mud sport going. Also, quick attack. Also dead. So never mind. I lied. You were not as good um, as promised. Gardner Grover, sorry to hear you. Yeah, no, that was terrible. I talked you up to my friends watching right now, and then you embarrassed me. You got it was this is what this is what happens. 
Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Here we go. Uh, where are we? That's, those two annoying people and those over there in the lab coats. Oh boy. Let's see. Can you fight me? Hey, fight me. Yes, I do just love Pokemon. I do. I do. A Pichu. Oh boy. Yep. Our worst nightmare, guys. Electric Pokemon. So far, not our friends. That's okay. Pokemon, go. We're gonna. This is exactly what we just said. We're going to Chloeo. This is good. This is good early on on your team. You want your Pokemon to have to um, really rely on each other and learn to rely on each other. To like, you know, a lot of a lot of early starter Pokemon like this always very much uh we should not hit it with a physical attack because it might have static they want to go out there they want to be the hero but you just gotta you gotta be oh excuse me you gotta be patient they gotta learn to switch out to rely on the other members of the team Emma. oh yes oh tail whip dude come on I mean, I'm not complaining about an easy fight, but here we go. We might get a level out of this one, too. Chloe, yo! Do it! Yay! Boom! Level 15! Just like that! I have a feeling Chloe yo does not evolve for quite some time. Noble Roar! What does that do? What does that do? It sounds so awesome and noble. Uh, letting out a noble roar, the user intimidates the target and lowers its attack and special attack stats. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we want that. That sounds better than Leer. Forget. Well, this is cool. So now we can increase our attack and special attack and decrease the opponent's attack and special attack. It's interesting. That seems like really powerful early game moves to affect two stats at once. I am... Okay with it, is there some other, aha, another Corefish user, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, behold, these glorious moves that have been honed and perfected in the garden. It just means he's gonna use Vice Grip again. That's all he's saying. Nice chainsaw, bro. Well, what a weird garden. There's men with chainsaws challenging you to fights and uh, preschoolers challenging you to fights. So, really safe place. Really safe place. Hey kids, go play over there with those chainsaw men. That's what I imagine is happening on this park. Mm-hmm. Vice grip, but also quick attack. Yeah. Kaboom! You gonna mud sport? No. Hey, this guy's a little bit better. Cool, cool, cool. Also, if I recall, this should be the end. You're dead. You put up a better fight than your uh, other gardener friend. Good for you. 132. Yeah! Looks like a combination with your Pokemon was even more honed than mine. Uh-huh. I don't write a side of Smet. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I made it up just now. It's not a well-known song. Found the, the ether? Ether? I don't know. I I don't know how to say that word. I always just say ether, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's ether. Ether sounds more like a actual kind of medicine or something, but... Let's go, uh, no. Oh, no, I didn't want to talk to you too. No, go away, I don't like you. Hello there, have you ever heard of a Pokemon called Flabebe? Oh, I see, it's registered to your Pokedex, okay. Yeah, Flabebe, a fairy type Pokemon. Whoa! Okay. Oh uh, no, I don't want to follow you. I'm not done on this road. Go away, do not make me walk through there. Okay, good. I need one more level. One more level for Axe. Yeah, Lady Ba. Going down, friend. Sorry to tell you. Sorry to tell you. Water Pulse. Ah, level six Pokemon. Not gonna get us the experience we, we need on this fight alone, but soon enough. Uh, a few more of those and we will be there. We will be there. Come on, come on, come on. And then we will go into the next city. Hey, look, Ladybo. Maybe Ladybo was the thing we were always going to catch on this route. Hmm. At level 8, though, it's a little bit better. It's nice. Water pulse. Kaboom. Oh. 
Oh, we confused it. Hooray! Oh, it hit itself in its confusion. That's hilarious. Sorry about that. Also, quick attack. It's making me a little nervous that we've only got 16 HP. Like, I don't think we're going to lose to a Letty bit here, but it does make me nervous. Just 60. Oh, come on. All right, there we go. Like, I'm so certain that we're just going to immediately defeat everything. And that's how you... Confidence is never the... Ah, oh, baby. Confidence is always dangerous in these games. So much, though, that even though we should have no problem with this, I am totally just going to potion, because how dumb would it be to lose to a Flabebe one fight before we evolve? It would be very dumb. That's the answer. Vine Whip. Oh. Okay. So it is a strong. It does have some, uh, it does have a type advantage, but even that was pretty wimpy. Yeah, we got this. Fairy Wind. Ooh. Yeah, that one was very strong. All right, quick attack, and that should be it. And could it be? Could it be? Is that the one? Is that the one? Is that all we needed? Yay, level 16! We did it. We did it. Oh, wonderful. Happy day. Let's see it, Axe. Let's see that fight. Oh, what? What? Axe is evolving. Do, 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 Let's, oh, what a, what, what glory, what glory, oh man, Frogadier looks awesome, that is such a cool Pokemon, that is a cool Pokemon, man, this is a rare situation, I think, where the middle tier evolution might look the coolest of them all, that, that might look cooler than Greninja himself, anyway, there we go, let's head on to the next city, we got our Frogadier, what do you want? You wanna give me something for free? You don't? Well, what are you even doing here, dude? What's with that backpack if it's not for free stuff for me? We're getting along great. Yeah. The TM for return. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I like that. You know who's gonna get that? Or who could get that is uh, Chloeo because part normal type and return is no joke, super strong once you're uh, good friends. Lumio City! Yay! Here we go. All right. Mm-hmm. 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 You guys, you have to let me... I'll go ahead and wait for you to the lab. Follow her that way to the lab. <laughs> I love how they really have to show you exactly where to go because the city is massive and it's a big circle and everything looks the same and it is uh, very easy to not know where you're going in this city. I will tell you that. Is this the Pokemon Center? It kind of looks like it, but it's not. Uh, we're just going to get... Yeah. Okay. We made it to the lab. The building is sick of more Pokemon lab. Let's go inside. All right. Let's do it. You've traveled a long way from Vanneville Town, but you're finally here. The professor can't wait to meet you. You can find him on the third floor. So hop in the elevator. Okie dokie. Boo -ba -doo boo Which floor would you like to go to? The third floor, I guess. I think we have one more little fight with uh, the professor here. Oh, hey, what's up, bro? So we finally meet. So we do. Fantastic, here, come this way, won't you? I suppose I will. I'm pretty sure he's gonna send out uh, all three of the Kanto starters. Um, so we should probably lead off. I want to say he's going to go with Bulbasaur first because Bulbasaur is just like the first in the Pokedex. So we're going to probably lead with Chloe. But before we do that fight, I think I'm not sure if we'll be given a chance um, to save in between those moments. So I'm going to save right now. Yep. And uh, I think we're going to call it. We, we traveled down route for today. We added Mats, the Ladybug, to the team. And in the next episode, we shall add a Kanto starter to our team. So I'm just going to uh, leave it here for the day. You guys can uh, let me know which one do you think we should choose in the towel section down below. Uh, as I've said, I feel like Bulbasaur would be a great addition to the team. Just saying. Just saying. That's my own personal opinion. We've already got a water type and a fire type, and they're both pretty awesome already, so that's that's just, you know, that's where we're at. Anyway, 
Um, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please leave a like on the video if you haven't already. And remember that we name new Pokemon after people who leave comments. So if you haven't done that, make sure you get a comment in there as well. So maybe you could end up on the team. Uh, but that is all I've got for today. Until next time. Bye. Boom dead, ha. Huh?